In this interactive figure, a competitive hunter model, you will have the opportunity to explore two species of fish, trout and bass, who happen to be living in the same body of water, competing for the same limited resources. In the interactive figure on the left-hand side is a graph depicting the population of both the trout and the bass. Along the x-axis, we represent the population of trout, and along the y-axis, we represent the population of bass. Over time, the populations of both species will change, so the population of trout could be expressed as some function x of t, and the population of bass could be expressed as some function y of t. On the right side of the interactive figure, the initial trout population is given as 52, and the initial bass population is given as 149. And by clicking on the point on the left side of the window and dragging that point, we can always change the initial populations of both species. You can also click on the point and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to have a more precise movement. Back to the right side of the interactive figure, there is also a trout growth rate of 0.05, a trout interaction rate of 0.0001, a bass growth rate of 0.04, and a bass interaction rate of 0.0002. Now, what do those things mean? What is meant by a growth rate and what is meant by an interaction rate? Well, in this lake, in the, in the absence of competition, the population of each species, trout and bass, would increase at a rate proportional to its size. So in this interactive figure, the initial trout growth rate is set at 0.05 or 5%, which means in each interval of time, the population of trout increases by 5%. The bass growth rate is initially set at 0.04 or 4%. So for each unit of time moving forward, the population of bass will increase by 4%. Now for the interaction rate, let's remember that the two species are in competition. So the population of each will decrease at a rate proportional to the frequency with which the two species interact which in turn is proportional to the product of the two populations. So the more often the two species kind of run across each other, the more likely it is that their population will decrease. So the initial trout interaction rate is set at 0 0.0001, or 1 one hundredth of a percent, and the bass interaction rate is set at 0 0.0002, or 2 one hundredths of a percent. So, for each unit of time moving forwards, the trout population will increase by 5%, but it will decrease by 0 0.0001 times the product of the two populations at that time and the bass population will increase by 4% in each time interval, but will also decrease by the product of the two populations times 0 0.0002. Now to explore this model, you can of course drag the point on the left side of the window, and what, what, what happens is, is there is a kind of a tail of points, and there, these points represent units of time moving forward. So as it's set up now, the initial trout population is 66, and over time the trout population seems to increase and then decrease, whereas the bass population starts at 191 and it appears to increase strictly. 
if I drag that initial value point somewhere else, perhaps in the upper right quadrant of the graph, now my initial trout population is 323, and the initial bass population is 733. If I look at the trout population, the trout population seems to decrease slightly and then increase, whereas the bass population decreases strictly. If I were to drag this point close to the center of the graph, and as I get closer, I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to make the point 200, 500. At this population, the system is in equilibrium. So there are 200 trout, 200 trout in the population, there are 500 bass in the population, and as time marches forwards, the populations will not change. Now, other things you can explore, perhaps if I click on the trout growth rate on the right-hand side, let's change that growth rate to 6%, and then press Enter. And let's change the bass growth rate to 3%. And so we get a little bit different behavior. And if you ever end up losing the point by changing those numbers, sometimes the point will hop off the screen. You can click on the small swirly icon, the reset construction icon in the upper right corner of the graph. If we want to change the trout interaction rate, instead of 0 0.0001, we change it to 0 0.0002. And the bass interaction rate, I will change from 0 0.0002 to 0 0.0003. And the population behaves a little bit differently over time.